Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Ali and in this video, I'm going to share with you how I integrate Amazon FBA with QuickBooks Online and how I automate my accounting using A2X. So I've been using A2X for almost two years and I think it's absolutely essential for all of the Amazon sellers. How A2X works is it automatically posts all of your Shopify, Walmart, eBay, or even Etsy sales and fees directly into QuickBooks and it matches all of those statements between your bank account so for example if you're an amazon seller and let's say you sell in the us and canada marketplaces every two weeks that amazon gives you a bi-weekly statement and pays you a2x will automatically download and those all of those statements to quickbook so before i dive into details i want to quickly show you the pricing now as you can see they offer four different plans it starts with the mini plan which is for small businesses selling in a single country it downloads up to 200 orders per month and it costs 19 us dollars now the next plan is for unlimited marketplaces it costs 49 us dollars per month this is the plan i use so if you are like me and if you are selling in more than one marketplace this plan is for you now there are two other plans but i think most of you guys will do fine with the mini or starter plan so as you noticed it's not a cheap software to use especially for the beginners or for for someone uh, like me who lives in Canada and the price will be converted into Canadian dollars but I don't think that is necessary to subscribe and pay for it every month I think a maximum of four times a year or even twice a year might work great for you if you want to save more and invest that money into your business rather than spending on software so let's see which Amazon marketplaces does A2X support some of you might sell on Amazon UK or Mexico or India or Amazon Australia and might wonder if this tool is going to be available in uh, those marketplaces that you sell and here is a quick picture of marketplaces that A2X supports so if you guys sell in any of these countries you can use this software so I'm going to share with you my screen right now and walk you through this step-by-step -step process on how to set up your A2X with Amazon and also with QuickBooks and show you the different sections of this software but before I do that if you are getting value please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and my today question from you is what kind of software and tools you are currently using for your amazon fba business make sure you let me know in the comment section so this is the dashboard or home page of my a2x account as you can see first you have to connect it to your amazon account which i already did it's a very easy and simple thing to do the next step is to connect it to your quickbooks the next thing is to set up your account and taxes now as you can see it says if Amazon calculates and collects sales tax for you you do not need your accounting system to calculate sales taxes select a tax rate such as no tax or tax exempt now if I just scroll down you can see that here are all of your account names under transaction mapping now these are the accounts and categories that appear in quickbooks after sending your amazon statements the next menu is about your inventory and the first one the monthly summary gives you a summary of your monthly inventory value your total units your total SKUs, and the countries that you have sold in the next one under inventory is locations which shows you the location of your inventories as you can see my product are being stored in the US and Canada fulfillment centers here we have Amazon's British Columbia warehouse here we have Alberta Ontario Ottawa and in the US we have Phoenix and Juliet fulfillment centers the most important part of this software is settlements now as you can see it shows the different bi-weekly settlements for different marketplaces under actions you can click on review and review your sales and fees and also review your cost of goods sold and once you review them you can simply click on send to quickbooks and you're good to go so it was a quick video on how i automate my amazon accounting every two weeks i just have to review my a2x statements and click on send to quickbooks it's a very simple to use but as i mentioned i think it's a little bit overpriced but you can subscribe and pay every three months or even four months so you can save more now if you guys got value please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already 
already and if you have any questions or concerns or if you have any thoughts please share that with me and with the others in the comment section now make sure you watch one of these videos over here as i explained earlier there are tons of valuable tips and tricks in these videos so make sure you click on one of them right now as always thanks for watching and see you in the next video